Good morning from the farm. Welcome back if you're listening. Hey, if you're watching, that's even better. And apparently we're due a bit of a storm today that won't dampen our spirits down here in the barn. Hey, Mum. You all right, Ru? Yeah. I'm very good, thanks. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm tired, but I'm fine, though. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. We had really, Dare we had I a ask, you look a bit tired? <laughs> <laughs> no, we've had a busy week. Yeah. Yeah, we brought all the cows in on Saturday. Yeah, right. Okay. And um, then we I didn't bolus them all. You know, I love bolusing cow. I, think I do. We just released uh, an excellent <laughs> bolus video. <laughs> uh, we had a comment. Oh, no. Although I did send a tongue-in-cheek newsletter to our email um, subscribers. Thank you to everyone who's on our mailing list. And I said, um, this is the best bolus video you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> So I sort of hedged my bets that they'd probably not seen a bolus video before. <laughs> At least not one with music <laughs> under it. But yeah, have you watched the bolus video? I did. What yeah. did you think? Yeah, I thought it was good. I thought yeah. it was informative. Good. Awesome. Yeah, and I think, oh my goodness, when we, you see the next film and just have a look at those cattle, I think, because I don't usually do the youngsters with Iodine. The youngsters, sometimes I give them a bolus, a mineral bolus, but um, right. I've given them that iodine one, and oh my God, I reckon they've grown a foot, some of those boys. <laughs> oh, Honestly, wow. they've done really well. I got, well, you see what you think. Yeah. Please. Because <laughs> I don't usually do, but I've done them all, and oh my god. And you said you'd done the sheep as well, which you don't normally do Yeah, and do I don't either. usually do those, so I, I'm going to, yeah. So which leads me on to a bit of a question. Yeah. So we've had Judith, yeah. um, who asked sort of, why there's a necessity to put, you know to actually supplement with minerals yeah. and cassie from um australia who's who sort of said that they don't have a problem with iodine yeah. <laughs> but they've got their own problems with lots of other yeah. trace minerals i mean i think it's in the soil but it's locked it gets locked in Ru. right so i don't know if it's because of the high rainfalls and the weather conditions but it is actually when they do their tests it is but the cattle can't see, it doesn't come through and they don't graze it and um, it's not present in their diet. And so um, yeah. that's why I have to do it. And it's a, the only good thing about it is it's 20 years ago when we were getting our cattle in, we, the cows and things, yeah. we'd only get them, walk them through and you perhaps do a few, a little bit of um, worm and stuff. You never used to bonus, but oh, really? uh, it was hell to get them through the crush and that now, I have to do them twice a year, so they, they're sort of done now, November, December, and then yeah. they're done at turnout time, so they're quite good. And if you notice, s with the cows on Saturday, you know, they actually, they give me a little bit of a struggle, and then they're like, ready, <laughs> not you again, oh God. And So um, they get used to sort of the process of They get used it. to it. But why do we need to, yeah, it's a perfectly valid question, why do you need to because apparently it gets locked into the soil i haven't really looked into all the scientific stuff but and more and more people especially around us i think it's certain areas as well yeah definitely up well north. like cassie from australia yeah. who's got they've d they yeah. don't have a problem with that yeah yeah it's interesting but, um definitely up north they do a lot of bolus in and down here people are using boluses more and more for their sheep and stuff right because you know some years it's so wet and boggy and then it's hard, you know, we've had some quite dry summers. The climate is changing as we know, isn't it? It's yeah. um, wild. So um, I've not actually- Well, it's so, it's so, not Im actually, it's so important, yeah. isn't it? Oh my goodness, And that's yeah. the reason for- And I always feed, I always, always feed when we're, I mean, the cows always have gold blocks and um, magnesium and stuff in the winter. Mm. Um, and also occasionally we put a bag of minerals out and they scoff them down and stuff. But um, it's a bit like an insurance policy as well, possibly with some. Perhaps yeah. they're in, on a harsher regime and they give them, because selenium for the calves and their children that they're- Well, know, we've, they're we've got, um, be sure to check out the bolus video because it is really yeah. good. Um, we're also working on uh, the sort of a video that talks a little bit about the reason for bolusing in a yeah. little more detail because yeah. you lost a, a calf. Um, yeah, that's it. With which the is the reason to do it in the first place. Oh my goodness. Well, the, the calves are born, but they're dopey. I mean, yeah. the first thing a calf does, you know, is 
yeah, they get licked by mum and clean usually, and they're up and they're sucking. Yeah. But these calves weren't. They were just sort of laying there. It's like, yeah, feed me, feed me. Mum was sort of nudging them, but there was no sort of go in them. Wow. And um, it's like flipping out. We had to tube and mess about. And, and there was about sort of five or six of them. It's like, this, there's something wrong here. Yeah. This is not, you know. And she's a really good mum, and she was getting concerned and upset. And so it's like, right, that's fine, because you've got ways and means of doing things. You just hand milk some colostrum out of mum and right. you feed the baby with a bottle or tube if it's really, ser you know, whatever. And, um, yeah, they were just so bad. It was so bad. I mean, I lost, I lost, I think I lost a couple as well. Um, so it was really not good. Yeah. But, yeah, so that's why we do that. Also, um, we'll sit, just see how the, what the sheep are like. I mean, I've had um, not very good scan results the last couple of years. I don't know if it's got, I've got more sheep and I'm not, I have no idea or the need grass or whatever, I need more tups, whatever. <laughs> but um, sometimes I think it's because I've got fat texels and they're a job to get in them, but you know, other things. But we have bolus, okay. we have, give them a bolus. Yeah. Not especially a high iodine one. A, a Just a. One with lots of selenium and lots of different minerals right. and stuff. So we just see what, we're gonna have them scanned in January, so that'd be fun to see. We've never seen scanning. Yeah, we? that's really fun, and you ought to do a scanning one. It's right, really okay. good, and the guy that does it is, <laughs> the, right. yeah, the <laughs> loveliest guy ever. Oh, cool, okay. So lovely, Andy is so Well, let nice. us know um, if, yeah. if you'd be interested. I mean, I'm them. looking at the screen, and it's like, uh, I can't see a damn thing. No. <laughs> but, um, but he can. He can. When last week, yeah. a bit of a change of um, uh, change of direction. Mm -hmm. Last week you mentioned subsidies for suckler cows. Um, I don't know. I know that subsidies exist, although we should probably describe what those are, um, or you should. But what's what's a subsidy for a suckler cow? This was years ago when we used to get. Years ago, we used to get a sheep subsidy for your sheep. How many okay, sheep Okay, maybe, you what's a... A sorry, subsidy is a, a subsidy? payment. A payment for a what? A payment for having so many sheep or for having so many cows. So you, it's sort of a grant? Yeah, they pay it every year. They can take it away. They give it to you. They can take it away. You have a certain criteria. Right. You have to abide to, well, tag in and good, um, yeah. Because on the outside... Um, See, I, I knew what a subsidy was uh, because yeah. I've heard you talk and dad and everyone uh, in the kitchen talk about subsidies for most of my life. Um, and it's a contentious point because, like you say, they come and go. But what, what I started to think about in my head was, hang on a minute, is why, why do they just give you money? Is that because they know how little money is in it? I think it's all to do with the European, the, the common market in the European. I'm not... Absolutely. They, but they need to encourage farmers to do certain things, therefore they give you sort of subsidies for it. Yeah, so they came round and every year we used to say how many cows we've got and how many calves and da-di-da -de -da right. and how many of this, that and the other. And then, um, yeah, we had subsidies for the cow. So we had a nice check just before Christmas. Oh, about yeah? this time. Then they um, stopped the sheep one. Oh. But, but we get what we call now a single farm payment on this farm. So right. they, they know our grassland area, right? how much grass we've got. They've took th from the suckler cows and from previous, what we used to claim for su um, subsidies for our cows. They yeah. put a bit of that in and a bit of this in. They put some salt and pepper on it and then they said, that's what you're <laughs> gonna get, yeah? <laughs> this is what you're getting. And so for right. the last, it is a very contentious subject because, you know, um, people, yeah, why should we get paid all that? But that money sometimes. No, I meant more content, contentious as in the government might take it away one year or the sheep payment well, stops. Well, I mean, with, they are going to... And then gonna, farmers, you know, that's yeah. why I'd hear it in the kitchen because you'd what, be moaning yeah, about... Yeah, what they're going to do now, and which is great for me, it's no problem. And I've also, um, we get a single farm payment and what I have... I don't do. I haven't done it for the last couple of years. But I used to get a a, a payment for um, 
the grassland on the farm so i wouldn't be able to mow certain fields like the lovely ridge and furrow field we've oh, got right. down the bottom yeah and fields at the back there where we've got really nice wild grasses and orchid there's a couple of orchids and things but right. i wasn't allowed to mow until july first of july which is fine for me because I don't some sometimes. And then you weren't allowed to graze it really heavily. Right. And you've got to be, yeah, it was precious. So they so want, they wanted some element of control over it, but I suppose for the, that's to protect well, the, the land. That was the idea of it. Yeah. And to, um, and over the years they bought more and more things in for putting buffer strips around for the arable, you know, because okay. all the song, you know, there's a lot of, little birds and songbirds and okay. different birds for nesting and they're very strict now on the hedge cutting and all that but what i think they're going to do is i think the payments the single farm payments are coming to an end and now we're going to get grants for lots of tree planting i understand there's lots of tree planting um lots of environmental things you know right planting this that and the other for cover for animals and doing lots of envir you know lots of a lot of things that you like yeah. to do anyway which would be fine for me so uh, we had a comment um, um from mr pink it's always hard when we don't <laughs> there's an alias <laughs> makes it makes it sound mr. really pink, funny what a lovely name yeah mr pink oh dear um who who asked what you thought specifically you because i think uh, he anticipated that you know we're not we're not the source of knowledge on on these uh, political no. points um but he asked what you thought about the idea of subsidies going to farmers as opposed to the landowner i think it's a wonderful idea especially the little small family f the little small family farms that are scraping away and doing their thing i think it sounds and also i imagine the people who are renting land also so the, la the the people that are the innovators as well the people that are you know doing their there's some fantastic farmers out there and there's some fantastic things going on people that are getting the keeping the seeds going the grass seeds going and and working at different ways of farming and right. doing different things but to, i mean of course i'm going to say yeah it'd be it would be nice if it went to the small farmers the ones that have got a little bit of this and a little bit of that because basically you're not going to get them and in the countryside we're going to get less and less and less and you're just going to get more solar panels so um you know lots of other stuff that but um well that can quite more easily on a balance sheet turn to profit right yeah. it's yeah. not i mean oh. i'm i get letters quite on a regular basis you know from energy companies and i mean it'd be easy wouldn't it you could just say right stick well, a couple of yeah, windmills sticker, up sticker well, it's windy windmills, down here it's solar panels but oh really that sounds um yeah that's another thing but um it would be nice if the s the small family farms s the dairy farms as well where they are really really struggling at, over in this country yeah. and they work so hard um yeah all us little odds and sods definitely it would be nice because i mean a lot of these big arable that have thousands of you know they're yeah they don't was need the, it as much a, as the there was little a family farms and also you know yeah. sort of um we do get and you can get grants for different things so that we can improve and so our handling facilities are better but yeah um that's what we need yeah but yeah it'd be nice Mr. Pink, if it, won, if, it was, if it was like that. Yeah. And people, because, I mean, they're exploited all the time. You know, people exploit all the grant systems and this system. And they know the people. They know how to get the money. And Yeah. And sometimes you, you have to put your, you have to have the money to get the stuff. And sometimes you don't have the money to put it down. And then they'll, you pay. The, and then, yeah. So it's, all, yeah, it's a struggle for lots of little farms. Yeah. Yeah. So it'd be nice, Mr. Pink, yeah. <laughs> well that was a yeah that was really interesting yeah um wow so on the subsidy side how do you see that do you see that as a good because uh, as i understand they're coming to an end or they're changing quite considerably i think they're coming to an end and i think that'll be it'll be better really i should say that because that re i really like that that payment because that pays my contractor bills yeah so when i get that i can pay the contractor and a lot well, of people he has are to like wait that. a while doesn't he he does he's amazing <laughs> Yeah, he is. <laughs> Crikey, what's that? That six-month <laughs> pay terms. Yeah, 
God bless him. Good old Mick. Yeah, good old Mick. I love and Mick. Mark. But yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. Um, it does. That's what a lot of people do. That's what a lot, a lot of contractors have to do. If you ain't got the money, yeah, you pay when you can. That's it. Well, I would say to him, I would say, look, sometimes I can pay him a bit earlier and I might sell some cattle and I'll say, right, I could pay you this much. Yeah. And then when I get my... But, you know, you get to rely on things, don't you? It was mm. like the milk check, dad's milk check and, you know, your payments and different things. You, so, it, but yeah, basically that pays the contractor. And so why would you think that was a good idea if it's helping you? Well, we're all on a level playing field and, and it'd make me pull my socks up a bit and sell more stuff instead of keeping everything and getting bigger and bigger and bigger and having more cattle and doing things. Okay, so you... It would be better for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be and forced. Me. And me. And that stop you boys were moaning, Mum. Don't buy any more sheep or don't... don't. Yeah, there yeah. is an elephant in the room here, which is that we we have, at points, had genuine concern over our mum and how hard she works <laughs> for Look, all you, the animals and yeah. things. And, because and, it is... And I do it's a know... Way, it's a, and I do know... Yeah. ...that I have got to cut things down. It will be better for every everything and everybody. Uh, but it's so hard. Yeah. It's ruddy hard, I'm telling you. You know, I, seeing uh, your old yeah. mates going and, oh dear, it won't be good. But I had none. And, yeah. and so that's, but that's interesting because so the subsidies, so do they, do they, um, they encourage maybe sort of you to do more? As in you get more money for more stuff? No. Right. We've been given the amount we're going to be paid and we've been having that amount for the last 10 years. Okay. And so the sheep payment that stopped. Well, it, it all got on the single farm. I think it all went into the pot, into your pot. Okay. They knew what grass and you got. They knew what you, we used to have suckler cow wise, even though we've got more than we, I used to claim for about 19 cows or something. I can't remember. 15 was it? I can't remember. How many remember. cows have you got? A few. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> And I keep breathing. Well, there's more yeah. than 19 behind you. <laughs> yes. But, yeah, but you do increase. And yeah. Um, because that's, um, if I have less, it's failure. I feel a failure. I've told you this is another thing that yeah. that's in the head. You know, if I have, you know, I've got plenty and, you know, I've got those lovely bullocks. But, yeah, but you've got to pay the bills and you've got to. Is that because the emphasis on farm, on the, the family I don't know, farm it's my here? my stupidity, I think. Oh. Is it? Well, traditionally, that would, I, w I imagine that would mean you'd make more money if you got more cows, wouldn't it? Yeah, but it's... Um, so you, it, it, you mean a failure in terms of a business sense or in in terms of a... Oh, my personal... Um, it's just to grow the... Yeah, just to improve and improve and to, oh yeah, we're going to keep her. She's going to be a really nice heifer and that one there. Or right, yeah. Yeah, but... Um, and you're a hoarder by nature too. And I don't like selling things, yeah. <laughs> I do not like... But that bleeds I don't, into... I don't like going in that trailer on a Wednesday night with my, a couple of my cows in there, thinking yeah. those girls have done me good service, like taking Cindy, my old friend. But yeah. me and her, we go. We go on a spiritual journey. And Cindy? Well, you know, she's going to have to go, isn't she? Yeah. You know, her hips have gone. and um, she, She's got a bad hip, but you know what I mean, that. But, yeah. So it's not easy. It was not e easy for anyone. Imagine these people that say, right, you've got TB, you've got to get... Oh, oh man. Oh, dear. No, I don't even want to think about yeah. that sort of it's, stuff. It's, it's so... It's, it's mind-blowing to me because I think anyone could look at it, in the, the industry, and go, well, that's a, great, that's a great thing, you know? Like, you can pack up and... You know, you can get more money for this and yeah, let's do it do like this. this. You yeah, you can do all this. But then fill this up with containers. Let's have a load of containers. When, when yeah. you sit here with it and you speak to someone, oh, this is why this is so great for me and I think for hopefully other people. It's like when you sit here and speak to someone who really cares about it, you realise how important it is. And I, I don't think it's about being important just to you either, like one person. It's, it is actually a very important thing in the UK because we've got such amazing... Oh, yeah. The uh, cunt... The, the countryside. countryside and going through the countryside you know you go wherever you go Devon and you go Somerset wherever you go even in Oxfordshire or whatever it's just lovely to see yeah. the animals out in the fields isn't it yeah it's just lovely and even the, the arable as well the sort of the yeah. the rapeseed and things that looks different amazing the crops. in the 
in the spring yeah. sort of summer and the, time. the woodland we've got and the yeah. beautiful beautiful countryside and then when i went up north i went blown away when we i haven't been there very, very many times but when i go up there the lake district yeah and it's just spectacular isn't it we're really really lucky we ought to get you touring oh yeah take me up the lake district i did yeah it was it was, it was wonderful and when yeah. i go down to see mark we go down there to see marcus and um S what my brother that's it he's down at newton abbott but go down there and the rolling hills you think how the hell do they do their hay making on those <laughs> those hills and but um lots of little um still down there and around there people just with five five acres and they got their barn and yeah. like it's just so lovely because everybody wants their little bit of, you know, perhaps they want their field and they're doing their, yeah, they're growing their veg and they're perhaps having a few chickens and a few bit of this and a bit of that. You don't need much to start your own little empire, do you? No. No. So it's. There's a gentleman called Adam, who's brilliant. He always comments and he's great, and he's got he's got a few things here How and there. Lovely. He's got some Dexters. Oh, lovely. Oh, I got my Dexter's in Adam on um, <laughs> last week. Yeah, fantastic. And I've actually usually have the Dexter's with the the big guys, but no, not for no reason. I haven't had any trouble or anything. It's just right. over the this year, I've had them all my little De Dexter's together, and um, I've kept them out quite a bit longer because they they do not make such a mess of the pasture. It's amazing. So you'll see them. Actually, see them. I'll put them on the. We got to have a, um, the Dexter suite. The Dexter Suite. Yeah, but I yeah love Mum it. was quite keen for for us to film that, but we can. Yeah, you got to look it. at that because we got guys from America as well. Who is the guy from America? I can't remember actually, which is was annoying. He I try my was best. Was he Illinois? Anyhow, it's so lovely. There's quite a few I comments love. about Dexters. People love, love the Dexters. I love they're, the Dexters. They're an Irish breed. They are Irish, yeah. They are so. Oh my God! If you could have saw me yesterday, we had a right nightmare because I got. Rita in here, and she's sort of a Dexter cross. Rita. Yeah, Rita. She's sort of a Dexter cross. She is, her mum was a great big limousine cross thing. Oh and right. then she got pregnant with the Dexter Bull, managed to impregnate, and we got Rita. Dexter Bull, where's he come from? Well, when we bought Rita, my neighbour, John, right. he wanted to get rid of a few of his Dexters. And it's like, no, don't send them there. I'll have them. One of my... And so oh, Rita no. came, and then I had <laughs> Twinkle, then I had this Twinkle. one, that one. Yeah, I've got Twinkle, and I've got a few. And then I actually went to a sale at Foscott, and I bought a cow and calf there. But she has been sensational. And that was a school. I thought, what a lovely... Oh, so the school had a Dexter? Yeah, they had a little f um, herd of Dexters, oh, that's and they great. sold them. And I wanted this other one. There was a what do you mean, what, the school sold all of them? Yeah, it's so oh. sad. But they were so lovely, these Dexters. Beautiful. I do, I do love them. Perhaps when I, you know. I, I really like. I think yeah. they're, 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 there's a lot. They're a lot simpler. They're such good mums. Mm. Such good mums. They're little sods. They really are. With the others, you know, they're all putting their mouths up. The Dexters are like, no, uh, no. <laughs> yeah. But they're, we've got to know one another, and um, I love them. Great. Yeah. Well. That was a nice chat this morning. Yeah, nice. It's always nice chatting with you, Ru. Yeah. Yeah. It was really nice. And we've got Christmas coming up. You got any presents? Yeah, I bought Barney a coffee grinder. Don't, that's it's his birthday today, so he's getting it in about half an hour. So uh, <laughs> yeah, happy birthday, Barney. Yeah, obviously, um, I'm not ready for Christmas. I actually went to a shopping centre on Monday. <gasps> Oh, dun, dun, Lord. Dun. Dun, dun, dun. And I went to my favourite store, JL. I'm trying not to, I'm trying to, you know, I do go local, but sometimes I have to go to the big guns because certain <laughs> people want certain things. But, yeah. um, oh, it's not, not pleasurable, is it? No. Too many people. I have to say as well, obviously, um, we all have to adhere to it and stuff, but uh, just as a, a comment, the, the mask culture is, I don't love that. And uh, there's nothing we can do about it, and it's very important. Also, but it, it just yeah. feels a bit weird, doesn't it? Also, everywhere we went, we went more. in the shop and we sanitised, which was good, and we got our masks on. Then we went out the shop and I had another little squirt. I'm and then I went to another Your Lakeland store. So honestly, my poor hands are like, 
they've like never our, been so like clean been, yeah <laughs> and it feels like it just dries every bit of goodness out of them doesn't it yeah it's like, so um any uh any last messages for this week going into the weekend no just keep doing what you're doing okay and my love goes out to everyone yeah and look at that sky Roo. beautiful yeah it's really yeah. nice we're gonna have a good day yeah we're gonna have a good day it's gonna be a bit stormy but it's gonna be good thanks yeah, take everyone. care everybody bye-bye Thanks so much for joining us. If you have any questions or suggestions, then leave us a note in the comments. These videos are also available as a podcast, which go out every Saturday morning. So YouTube on Friday, podcast on Saturday. Search Flank Farm to dig us out. Have a great day and see you next week.